we've been fortunate um, as I talk to coaches in the area that they feel that the kids have changed through the course of time and I think we've, we've been able to develop a philosophy here that um, models what we want with the kids, the kids believe in what we do. Um, we stress academics, we stress our conditioning program, and we stress the strength program. I've got eight kids in the military, some in Iraq, six kids played for the Naval Academy, so um, I think you measure success in a lot of different ways, but when you see the kids that you've had move on and be successful in their lives, um, you know, and I'm now starting to get second generation kids coming through here, so you can't be so stoic in your philosophy of of what you run offensively or defensively, you have to have adaptability to to um, keep up with some of the trends of football and also um, meet the kids' needs and, and what, what they're able to do. You run into coaches that they want to oversee everything that's going out on the field and I've always been a believer of you let the coaches coach and then if you don't if you disagree with something you disagree behind closed doors. My dad's been with me every step of the way. Back when I played ball, um, I think of the 39 games in college I played in him. He was at 37 of them. Um, and, uh, you know, I think he would have been a great coach. I think that was this, I think I am, he's vicariously living through me. Or, and um, he, he would have been a great football coach. He's been a motivating force and, and Coach Dowling at Georgetown College. Um, I knew early on that I wanted to be a high school football coach. I decided it in junior high in my junior year of high school this is what I wanted to be. And so when I went there I said I need I want to study film, I want to do with the things you do. So um, he afforded me the ability to sit in on staff meetings to break film down. Um, and not just be a defensive football player, to learn both sides of the ball and also learn how to coach. It's never been an ego thing to me to say, oh, well, we have nine D1 players or we have these, this kid in the NFL or, you know, it, it's more of, um, you know, producing young men that get their degrees and, and move on and, um, you know, become productive and, and be able to put them in a position where they can reach their life dreams. We've got a very difficult schedule. Um, there's no one on our schedule that we actually beat last year, so that'll be interesting. The districts have been shuffled up where we now have Centennial and, and um, uh, Treasure Coast replacing Palm Beach Lakes and Seminole Ridge. So um, we're going to be a young football team. I think we'll be an exciting team. I believe this sophomore class is the class when they were freshmen and they came in, I looked at them and I said, I'm going to see this group through. So uh, this, this group of sophomores now is special. So um, we might struggle a little bit this year, but we're, we're, we're heading in a, into a, a place in a year or two where we're going to be a very, very good football team.